Hi everybody. Uh, this is the diploma review package. We're in the perms and comms chapter and we're looking through specifically the section on permutations. This is sec section, uh, sorry, question 6. Uh, ooh, this should be question 6B. I should look into that. That's mislabeled. Um, what we're going to do here is we're looking at the number of ways of organizing the letters in the word success. Okay, and they have to begin with exactly two S's. Now, I already know that there's repetition here. Okay. There's uh, the three S's and the two C's. So whatever I do, I'm going to end up dividing by three factorial, two factorial. Now, what I want to do here is take a look at and pay very close attention to that word exactly. If it's going to start with exactly two S's, it turns out this is a restriction on the first three positions of this word. The first letter has to be an S. There are three S's to choose, or I'm sorry, I put a three there. The second letter has to be an S. I've already chosen one, so there's two choices left over for, for this one. But you see, I can't just randomly choose any old letter now for the next position, because what if I choose that last S? If I do, then I'm not starting with two S's, I'm starting with three S's. So I have to make sure that that third position isn't an S, and it turns out there are four options for me. There's the U, the C, the C, and the E. Now beyond that, I don't care what order the rest of the letters come in. And so there are four remaining letters and there are four factorial ways of permuting those letters. And so this is the number of ways we can do this if we have to start with exactly two S's. Just remember that that's a restriction on the first three positions. 